Karibu Sana from Iringa, Tanzania. Now I'm in the highlands. This is one of the coldest region here in Tanzania. When I was coming here, I didn't know what to feel. I was in the bus, I was hot, then I was cold. I put my jumper on, then I had to take it off. Then I finally came here and it is freezing. I feel like I'm back in London, baby. But anyways, I'm gonna explore this city and tell you much more about the history and everything about Iringa here in Tanzania. Peace out. Okay, right now we are walking on a high street here in Iringa town. Now for those who don't know, it is the capital of the Iringa region. Now Iringa region is one of the coldest regions here in Tanzania and that's due to its geographical location. Now you do experience um, winter here, but you also experience summer, autumn, spring. So similar climate to what you'll experience in Europe. And that's one of the reasons why you get a lot of people from Western Europe. Some of them have moved to actually live here and they visit this region quite frequently. Now, another hidden gem about Iringa, they have one of the largest national parks in Africa. That's right, baby, the Ruaha National Park. Now, a lot of people may go Serengeti, Kruger National Park in South Africa, and may miss out the Ruaha National Park. Now, you will find the big five there. So if that's something you are interested in, just know that it has one of the largest national parks in Africa. The most um, dominant tribe in the Iringa region is the Wahehe people and they're quite famous for defeating um, uh, many of the Germans at one point in time. They had a chief called Chief Mkwawawa and he was notorious for going up against the colonial imperialists, the Germans, at one point in history. So today we will be learning about that. We'll be doing a great tour of this region. So stay tuned and enjoy today's vlog. Okay guys, I'm on a city tour here in Iringa and my guide will be talking us around. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, and what's your name? My name is Winifred Kinosa. Okay, Winifred Kinosa. Yeah. So yeah, you're giving us a tour today. Could you tell us about what we're seeing here right now? Yes. This is it's a tower. It's a tower uh, showing us uh, when we're getting uh, independent. Independent. 19... 1961 okay yeah December December yeah we get independent so they decided to keep here this tower because uh, the people uh, the people the the original people were fighting for independence they decided to keep here the, the, the tower. tower yes okay yeah. all right thank you so yeah guys this is the tower of independence Uhuru in Swahili means freedom freedom yeah and it was like he said nine, nine December, December 1961. 1961. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So this is it. Ah, yeah. yeah. And here we call a garden. Garden. Uh, if you, you, you are tired somewhere, you want to rest, yeah. you can come here and you can sit here. Okay. Yes. And oh. here is ma the Maasai market. The Maasai market. market. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So do they have a lot of Maasai living in this town? No, it's not a lot. Okay. Yes, it's not a lot. Okay. Yeah. But they just call the market here Maasai yeah, market. Maasai market. Okay. Yeah. And if you will need maybe to take something or to buy something, you can come here can if come you come wanna. Asante. Yeah. Nitaru <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. If you want uh, here, most of the clients, mm -hmm. if they need some tools or some something about here about uh, iringa yeah maybe the crafts you will get here you'll get here yeah, okay you'll get here. all right so guys if you ever visit iringa all the crafts you will need you can get it right here yes got it got masai market here yeah. you're right yeah So it's a bit quiet today but it's just like a lot of the markets you will visit in um, Tanzania, Arusha, different places they all have a market where you can buy the arts and crafts
So here uh, our soldiers uh, 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 mentioned here, our soldiers uh, during the during the uh, the war. Okay. Yeah, when we was uh, we was under 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 colonies. Yes. So when you're fighting the independent, yeah, uh, all keep it here and the mission here. Okay. Yes. And the names here, these are all Tanzanians. Yeah, all Tanzanians. Okay. Yes. All right. So guys, this is another part here in the garden that you, when you come, you, you'll see, like our brother was saying, these are all Tanzanians, brothers who had um, fight in the World War, World War Two, and they um, have this to remember them here these are all the names here so when you come to the garden here in Iringa this is one of the things you will see here yes ah, yeah. yeah thank you all right. already yeah yeah so we can go man yeah, yeah, I'm done over. every 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 year the soldiers coming here to pray okay yeah to pray for them today oh yes. to, re to remember them yeah, yeah? To remember them okay yeah. This is a hospital. Okay. Yeah. Hospital. It's a very, very big, very big place is building there. Okay, so like during the colonial time? No. It's not during the colonial time. Oh, just this, yeah. this is just the local hospital here yes. in Iringa. Yeah. Okay. So this is a hospital here. Here in Iringa. If you will need, we will, we will close this way and then we will, uh, you will see. see well. I know. So. so far, I'm liking Iringa. I find it um, very clean, a very calm vibe here. It's definitely one of the colder regions here in Tanzania but it's definitely a cool vibe and um, we're walking to the market now so you'll see a lot of the agricultural produce I love visiting markets when I travel to different parts you really get to see the real life and the heartbeat of the city in the markets so this is yeah Sokoku Manispa Iringa okay so yeah, this is main the main market in Iringa, Iringa. Sokoku yes. yeah. Sokoku in Swahili, Swahili yeah. main market in English in English yes. true true yeah. so how long have this market do you know how long it's been around this market no I don't know but it's so long time. a long time it's yeah. a long time yes. okay so this is like the main market where people come to shop here yeah, in Iringa yeah. yes all right we can go. We can go in here. Yeah. Yeah. You will need to speak, so it's just a little bit with some people yeah, yeah, selling yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you can. I can do that, all right. So we're in the market, guys. But it is distance from here. Okay, okay. Yeah. It is distance from here, but it's not so far. If yeah. you if you are strong to walk, yeah, I'm strong. We I'm can. strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can. Ah. Yeah. We can go. Yeah. So we will back. Okay. And we will see. You. Yeah, yeah. No problem, man. This one, this market, this market, yeah, building uh, uh, during the colony, this market. Oh, okay. You see that one, right? Yes. So we can we can enter there, okay, and you will see the the situation or the condition inside inside. Yeah, yeah. sure. So we're walking towards um, the part of the market that was built during the colonial times. So you'll get to see what it was like here. Tupapa Moja. I know she died, I know, know man. <laughs> so here is the uh, market. Okay. Uh, building during the colonial. During the colonial. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Sister Vivian. Okay. Sister Vivian. Sister Vivian. Sister Vivian. Ah, salam. Moja, Baga Moja, Miatano, Baga Fumbili. Okay, so. Yeah. Uh, take care just a little bit because we have fire here. Okay. I am. 
So this is where the locals come to eat, guys. Real cheap. Abadi. Salam. Zakoko. How about you? How about you? Yes, yeah. I said salam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If, you have, if, budget, if your budget is just a low, yeah. you need to eat, yeah. you come here, yeah. you get food, Good food. for, for hundred thousand. Yeah, okay. Yes. okay. Yeah. Bad. So what kind of food they sell here? Okay, rice. You want to know? You want to see? Uh, uh, rice. Uh, uh, do they like uh, banana, uh, ugali, na, ugali, chicha, chicha maharagwe? Okay, all right. Yes. So, I don't know. Yeah, and there is the police station. Police station, okay. Yes, yeah. All right. We can back to Yeah. So what 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 do you like about living in this town here in Iringa? Because I find it very cold. First Come. of all, I like uh, climate. Climate, you know, man. Okay. Climate. It's a good weather. Okay. Yes. You you prefer, you prefer you you prefer cold. Yeah, eh? just a little bit. Oh. You know, prior, uh, uh, cold. Yeah. And and some summer. Yeah. 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 Oh. The condition is very good. Uh, uh, I can say the mm. sun. Yeah, yeah. It's not hot much. Okay. It's not hot much. It's not like a. Something like a tanga. Yeah, tanga yeah. is so hot. Yeah, tanga yeah. is just sana. It's just sana. Just sana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. And here we call this is street. Okay. We call uh, um, Windini. 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 Okay. Yes. I can definitely see the um, colonial influence in the buildings here. Yeah. Trying to make sense of the place. Um, it's definitely um, really got a calm vibe about it as well, but it's busy. Definitely, it's also busy. And this part of the town here is the market area, and here's where a lot of people come and do their shopping. You know. Here, do you see here? Yeah. This is a church for, for, for Hindu. Okay. Uh, Hindu coming here and praying here. Wow. Yeah. So like every city I've been to, I've definitely seen um, Hind um, the Hindu influence, a lot of people who practice that faith. And my guide is saying this is a Hindu, Hindu ch church. Hindu yeah. church or Hindu temple here. And this is what it looks like from the outside. Okay. Can we go in? Oh, are we not allowed? We are not allowed. If... Actually, that building we just passed by, we went in, wasn't allowed to film, but it's actually an Aga Khan mosque. It's not a Hindu temple. It's a, it's a mosque for the, the Aga Khan sect. So yeah, that was actually a mosque. So this is still part of the market here? Yes. This is the market? No, no. Yeah, it's, it's closest. If you need clothes, Closer. you can come. come here. Matumba. Yeah, Matumba. Okay. Not Matumba. Mitumba. Mitumba. Yes. Yeah. If you need clothes, you need, you need shoes. Yeah, you can get it here. So this part here is where you get all the second hand things. So you can see people are selling these things here. Salam. Salam. Okay. Yes. So this side of the market is where the Mitumba is coming from. And people will come Dar Salam. Where else is it coming from? Mbea? Mbea. Okay. Yes. So the clothes come from different parts 
in Tanzania and then people will obviously come buy it and then they go to the market to sell it for themselves as retailers so this is the wholesale section And here, this street we call Kitanzini. Kitanzini? Yeah. Okay. Kitanzini, yeah. Uh, we say Kitanzini because uh, if you know Swahili just a little bit, yeah. Kitanzini means uh, Kitanzi killing. Oh. Yes. So Kitanzini, because of the German people yeah. during the colon, uh, uh, killing the people for, wow. for Kitanzi. We say Kitanzi. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Kitanzi. Uh, uh, Logging here mm -hmm. in the neck. In the neck, yes. Yeah. By hanging, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And somewhere you will see the place where they're doing that. Okay, yeah. yeah. We'll see that? Yeah, we'll see that. Okay. Yeah. So you heard it, guys, why it's called um, that name here. Yeah, this street was known for where the Germans used to kill um, their rivals here in the area. And Germany, of course, colonized East Africa at one point in history. So we're going to see where some of the um, hanging used to take place. This is a motel here, it's 4, 4G motel. You know, here reminds me of Mwanza, you know, there, there are a lot of rocks, yes, like yes, the rock yeah, city, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ever been there, Mwanza? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you have a lot of tours? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I tour around, you know. Yes. Mwanza, yeah. So this is the place? This is the place. Wow. Yeah, man. Uh, the, the people living here killed here. Wow. Yeah, during the colonialism. Colonial during time. the colonial time. Yeah. So guys, you're seeing it, man. Um, this is a lot of history here. Don't know how I feel being here, but... um. Yeah, so a lot of people would have been hanged here. Uh, maybe some of the local leaders and tribal leaders who probably was going against the German um, administration, trying to go against them, they would have been come here and they were hanged here. Um, you know the Hey Hey chief, Mkwawa, was yes. he hanged here? No. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. But Mkwawa somewhere there. Uh, uh, Kalinga? Kalinga? Okay. Yes. Kalenga, not Kalenga. 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 Kalenga, okay, yes. alright. So that's another area not too far from here. And yeah, so this is history, guys. Alright, so um, what? who would they have hanged here? Who would have been hanged here? The people, the people mentioned here. Yeah, okay, these yeah. are the names? Yeah. So these are the names of the people here. Yeah. Mupangile, Wangimbo, yeah. Mamuyinga, mm. Mugangihaka, yeah, Mamuyinga. Okay. Yeah. And were all these like. Um, but it's not only only them. There were more. A lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people. Oh. And they bring me somewhere we call Lunda Matwe. Okay. Lunda Matwe in Hehe, we say. Uh, in Hehe, Lunda Matwe. In English, collect the oh. hand. Oh. Yeah, so when they killed here, yeah. they collecting and bringing to Lunda Matwe. Oh, yes. That's so, where they bring their heads. Yeah. Wow. So sure. that's why if, until now uh, uh, you can see that, that village we call Lunda Matwe until now. Until the name of that village we call Lunda Matwe. Matwe okay. Yeah. According to this. Okay. Yeah. So that's another thing that used to happen. <laughs> you hang them and you remove their heads and bring them to another part. Yeah. yeah so oh man. A lot of history here. Okay, so this is a local mosque. Yeah. In Kiswahili, they say Misikiti. Misikiti. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Masjid Toba. And of course, it's surrounded by a village here as well. Ah, yeah. Up on the Kalinga Street. Kalinga, Kalinga. Kalinga Street. Okay. Yeah. So they're showing this one because, as you know, that uh, this year we have sensor. Okay. So sensor, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we have yeah. to account it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay. So, you know, um, when, you when I look at the history of Iringa, yeah. there was a famous Hey Hey yes. chief, yeah. um, Mkwawawa. Mkwawa. Mkwawa. Yes. Yeah, do you, could you tell us a little bit about him? Mkwawa. Yeah. Yes. 
mkoa uh, he was a chief in Nirenga mm -hmm. yes and mkoa uh, was very 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 aggressive for uh, for 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 German okay. yes because uh, he didn't want he didn't want to be colonized with German okay. that's why uh, fighting with them with them yeah. yes fighting mm -hmm. with them okay that's a, just a little bit history about them but we have uh, we have museums more about Mkwawa, Kalenga. Kalenga. It's not far from here. Okay. Maybe you uh, you can use 500 mm -hmm. from here to there. Okay, um, but um, yeah. mi, mi, mi atano kwa Daradara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. So uh, that's just a little bit I know about Mkwawa. No problem. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's one of the, one thing when people mention Iringa, they always talk about that chief. Yeah. Because he fought against the yeah. the Germans. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's a bit of history here in the area. And what's the name of this village? Uh, this village, you say, uh, in, in general, we say Kitanzini. Oh, Kitanzini. Still Kitanzini. Oh, still Kitanzini. Yeah. Okay.